this might surprise some of you, <clears throat> but keeping the Sabbath day holy has always been the Protestant and evangelical practice. And by the Sabbath, the particular day is not the Jewish Sabbath or Saturday, but it is so-called Sunday, the first day of the week. This used to be universal practice. I think not long ago, even in my own country in New Zealand, just a few decades ago, everything was closed on so-called Sunday. And I think a similar thing was the case in the United States and England, at least back in the day. I'm not sure how long, but everything was closed. They kept the Christian Sabbath. And nowadays, we could argue that England, the United States, and New Zealand are going downhill big time uh, and becoming more liberal and skeptic and are not really prospering as nations as they once did. And perhaps one of the main reasons is that they are profaning the New Covenant Sabbath day. They are profaning and polluting the moral law of the weekly Sabbath. Now allow me to read uh, from the Shorter Catechism, question 59, to prove my case that this is the Protestant and Reformed practice. Which day of the seven hath God appointed to be the weekly Sabbath? Answer. From the, from the beginning of the world to the resurrection of Christ, God appointed the seventh day of the week to be the weekly Sabbath and the first day of the week ever since to continue to the end of the world, which is the Christian Sabbath. Question 60. How is the Sabbath to be sanctified? The Sabbath is to be sanctified by a holy resting all that day, even from such worldly employments and recreations as are lawful on other days and spending the whole time in the public and private exercises of God's worship, except so much as to be taken up in the works of necessity and mercy. So this is the Westminster Standards and uh, the 1689 Baptist Confession of Faith, which uh, the Westminster Confession of Faith basically says the same thing. It says, as it is the law of nature that in general a proportion of time by God's appointment be set apart for the worship of God, so by his word, in a positive, moral, and perpetual commandment, binding all men in all ages, he hath particularly appointed one day in seven for a Sabbath to be kept holy unto him, which from the beginning of the world to the resurrection of Christ was the last day of the week, and from the resurrection of Christ was changed into the first day of the week, which is called the Lord's Day, and is to be continued to the end of the world as the Christian Sabbath, the observance of the last day of the week, being abolished. Next section, the Sabbath is then kept holy unto the Lord when men, after a due uh, preparing of their hearts and ordering their common affairs but, uh, aforehand, do not only observe and wholly rest all day from their own works, words, and thoughts, about their worldly employment and recreations, but are also taken up in the whole time, in the public and private exercises of his worship, and in the duties of necessity and mercy. So to be reformed, you have to be a Sabbath keeper. It's part of being Protestant, it's part of being a Bible-believing Christian. We commemorate the death, burial, and resurrection uh, Christ's vindication and victory over sin and death on the first day of the week. And we therefore gather and worship. Jesus appeared to his disciples and they were gathered uh, on the first day of the week. Even the day of Pentecost was the first day of the week. It's called the Lord's Day in Revelation 1.10. So there remains a Lord's Day, there remains a Sabbath according to Hebrews chapter 4. And to be reformed, to be truly Calvinistic, truly reformed, truly Protestant, we are to be Sabbath keepers, not Seventh-day Adventists, of course, because Jesus was still dead and buried and un in the, under the state of humiliation on the Saturday, but he was victorious and vindicated and rested from his work of redemption on the so-called Sunday. And so part of being reformed is to be a Sabbatarian, right? Whether you are a Reformed Baptist or uh, a good, solid Presbyterian, you are to be a Sabbatarian. <clears throat>